What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tyler Goes Fishing. I'm Tyler and today we're going fishing and today's episode is all about a very simple, simple bait and that is the grub. Very old school, simple bait. It works wonders. And uh, I want to prove again that you don't need fancy equipment to catch some bass. So let's catch some bass. <laughs> All right, let's get a closer look at what I'm using here. I'm using for the soft plastic Zoom Fat Halbert Grub Watermelon Seed, which is this right here. Good size. And I'm pairing them with a very simple ball jig. This is from a local place called Green Top. It's one eighth ounce ball jig and a 10 pack. So very simple ball jig, very simple grub. And that's all you need, really. You don't really need a complicated rig to catch fish, man. There's one thing I love proving on this channel, is that you don't need expensive, complicated stuff to catch fish. All right, the sucker is tied on. Let's see if any bass are hungry today. I'll be using uh, my usual bass fishing pole. Uh, jawbone pole here uh, six foot six ten to twenty pound line medium heavy and my quantum nitrous real ten pound mono on her especially since there's no biggins in here it's all just dinks but that's all I care about how is the water visibility looks like I can physically see about two or three feet so that's pretty good I wanted to go striper fishing today but uh, the river and pretty much every single creek and river and stream is just so muddy and flooded right now because of all the rains we've had this week which is good we needed rain so okay so i've usually had a lot of luck in this little corner right here around the rock so we're gonna try there first now the majority of the time i'm pretty much just gonna treat this like it's a uh, like it's a ned rig let it hit the bottom pump it a few times let it sit Tap it a few times, let it sit, just like I do with Ned Rigs all the time. You can also swim it though, which I may try to do that too. I just slowly reel it in. That curly tail will do a lot of action, will bring in a lot of uh, attention to it. The sun went behind the cloud. That's amazing. Please stay behind the cloud. Ooh, ooh. Got, oh no, I had a bite right there. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Yes, dinky bass number one. Hells yeah, guys, dinky bass number one. Very nice, see? That was maybe my six or so cast. Not even the five minutes. Right there, perfect size for that guy. All right, bye-bye, fishy. Nice. Fish number one on the grub. Hells yeah, hells yeah. Feels good to get the skunk off the board rather quickly. This spot right here has been usually pretty good, mostly because of the rocks that are right here. Uh oh, I got a snaggy, snaggy poo. Mostly because of all the rocks that are right here. The small bass chilling out, hunting the little, littler guys. Oh, I got another snag. I guess this, the bad thing about this spot, the rocks and the sticks. Oh, they, yep, there's a stick. There we go. Oh. Longest catch of the day. My dad would call this a stick roll. Shout out to dad. I know you're watching. You watch every video about 45 million times I, from what I, you tell me. It's such a simple setup. It's not even a painted jig. It's just plain lead. Maybe one of these days when I do like a bigger jig with pairing with something, I'll do some custom painting because by my career choice, I'm actually an artist. So it'd be nice to do another kind of creative thing combined to my favorite thingies, art and fishing. So do some custom paint jobs on some of these things. I don't know. Oh my God, as soon as it hit the water, this little guy nailed it. Did you see that? 
This teeny little dude hit it as soon as it hit the water. This is a small little dude right here. Oh, he came off right there. <laughs> oh man, that's okay. That's okay. Literally as soon as it hit the water, I was gonna swim it. Like a swim jig, I was gonna swim it. Uh, because there's so many snags over here with random rocks and stuff. And I've lost so many lures right there. So I was gonna swim it like a few inches below the surface, but then that guy just nailed it. Awesome, well that's a good sign, it's two bites already. So at the time of the recording of this video, I am currently at 975 subscribers. I'm not sure what I'll be at by the time this video comes out, but for all of you, thank you for everything really. I mean, it's been really cool. Steadily approaching that 1K, gonna get there probably soon. There's a whole school of bluegill right here, by the way. Anyways, random tangent. <laughs> Don't get distracted, Tyler. Fish and talk to the people. So yeah, I mean, uh, really close to 1K. So thank you all for that. It's been awesome. I do have shirts on the way. I made a couple of designs for merch and t-shirts and stuff. I just gotta stop being lazy and get on it. Also some more updates. I um, got a storage unit, so I'm gonna get a kayak soon enough once I figure out which one to get? It'll probably be a 10 footer or less. Or not less, but 10 footer. Because the storage unit's only a five by five by 10. So I've also been uh, organizing my stuff way better. Like for the past two years, everything's just been willy nilly stuck in my trunk and back seat. I have finally reclaimed my back seat. So now my four door is back to being a four door sedan where I can fit more than two people in it. I turned a corner of my uh, my guest room into a uh, little fishing corner to more properly organize all my crap. And I have gathered so much crap over the past couple years, it's not even funny. I also need to try to catch as many bass as I can quickly because my battery charger for the camera didn't work properly, so I only have a couple of batteries when normally I have a small army of batteries to use for the camera. And they're partially charged, not 100%. On the drop. He hit it on the drop, guys. Wasn't even paying attention. Another dinker, but he's a fish. You don't need expensive things to catch fish. Well, bam! Grub's a little twisted up here, it's all right. Yeah, hit it on the drop. I was sitting there waiting, waiting for it to hit the bottom so I could uh, bottom fish, but then hit it, hit it before it even hit the, the bottom, I can tell you that. Nice. See, it's aim, same spot-ish, that's about right. See if there's more over there. Mm -hmm. good already got two off the board two check marks for today maybe two and a half if you count the one I missed but I I didn't touch it so I don't count it you know I only count the ones that I physically touch uh oh oh got it out had a snag there for a second got it out oh oh is that a fish yes it is oh There we go, dinky bass number three. Back to back fish too. This one's got a little bit of a belly. A little bit of a belly, look at that. Look at that belly, yes. It's so cute. 
Dinky number three. Bye bye. So that was interesting. I actually hit a snag. And I like yanked it out of the snag and I guess he hit it right after that. Dinky bass number three hit it. Boom. Number trace. Nice. I also feel my skin burning and I forgot to put suntan lotion on, so that's not good for me right now, I can tell you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, come on. Got him. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> little dinky, another little dinky dude. That's pretty much all you can expect for this area is little dinks. Nice. Got him. Man. Classic grub, y'all. Classic grub. Okay, dink number four. Still got the same bait on, too. It's getting a little chewed up, but still holding good. Oh, fish. Here we go. Teeny guy again. <laughs> Try to keep him out of the rocks, out of that stick right there. There we go. Another dinker, but he might actually be the biggest of the day. <laughs> nice. Fish number five. Ah, he might not be the biggest. They're all about this size. But fish number five. Grubs, man. Kill in it. This time I was swimming it just above the rocks. And I was kind of doing short little tugs. Let me show you. Just swimming it, but like little tugs like this. So not letting it hit the bottom. But it's uh just zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I hope that was a good explanation of what I was doing. Fish again? Yes. Oh, he came off. Dang, dude. I was doing the same exact uh, retrieval technique too. Another little, little dinky guy. When you straight retrieve it, this it's got a big old curly tail on it. It does a lot of movement, so it's probably really helping. Lots and lots of movement. Fish again, yes. Yes. Another dink, but dude, I don't care. Flopping all over the place. Oh. Ooh, what do you think? Number six today? Oh. <laughs> right there on the top of the mouth, y'all. Boom. Dink number six, I believe. Grub still holding pretty good. It's getting a lot more beat up now, but still holding pretty good. And if it's still catching fish, I'm gonna still use it. There must be just something going on here with all the dinks just chilling out right here. Did you get the camera wet? No. No, okay. Also got to use this time to do what I got to do now that it's summer. Sun, you provide life for basically everything on Earth. So why do you give me sunburns? It's like cruel and unusual punishment for something. I don't know. The sun giveth and the sun burneth. Fish again. Yes, another one. Another dink. Man, the dinks are going crazy today. Crazy for the grub, y'all. Crazy for the grub. Mmm. Man. It's, this is dope as fudge. All off the same grub. Although it is getting so torn up, I'm going to have to replace it soon. But, you know... One soft plastic for like seven fish, that's well worth it. Hell, if it catches one fish, it's worth it. 
So I don't even have to put this much effort into it right now. So like all I'm doing, I'm not even moving the rod tip at this point. I'm just short little reeling in like one hole rotation, one hole rotation, one hole rotation. And that seems to be working. They're going after it. Again, the tail's giving off so much action. It looks so lifelike. Got one. I wasn't sure if I had one or not. It was not putting up much of a fight. This one's actually really dinky. Man, almost choked it there, buddy. Good thing I realized I had you on before you got a chance to swallow that and gut it. There we go. <laughs> That's definitely the dinkiest of the day. Man, the dinks are going crazy today, boys. Dinks are going crazy today. Woo wee, all right, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. Um, very successful day, if you ask me, caught like, what, eight, nine? I think I lost track. If there's one thing about this channel that I, I hope I can convey, it's that you don't need expensive stuff to catch fish. Those were some cheap grubs from some very cheap jigs, and that's all you need, man. So that will wrap it up for us today. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I hope you hit that like and sub button, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you in the next fishing adventure. Peace out.